Good day everyone and welcome to the fourth week of the differential equations course. Uh, here is the plan for today. Um, basically we are going to learn probably the most important uh, theorem in the whole course, the picard lindelof theorem of existence and uniqueness of solutions of differential equations. Um, in order to understand today's lecture well, you need to review a few uh, concepts. So if you uh, do not feel, uh, you know, very strong about um, continuity and differentiability of functions of several variables, then you probably you should stop the lecture now and uh, open your Calculus 3 lectures. Well, anyway, uh, let me uh, recall that um, in the first three weeks we learned that uh, in general there, there is no method to solve any ODE, but uh, there are some methods to solve a large classes of ODE. And uh, here is the Venn diagram of different classes of differential equations, right? So we have linear differential equations and separable differential equations. So these two classes, they have different methods of solution. Um, these two classes intersect. So uh, there exist ODE that are at the same time linear and separable. So those ODE can be solved um, by using either method. Uh, the Good choice is usually the method for linear ODE. It is easier than the method for separable ODE. So besides, the, there is a large class of um, differential equations called autonomous differential equations, those that do not have uh, the independent variable explicitly in the right hand side. So they are separable. And autonomous differential equations can be easily recognized from their direction fields. So that's the beauty of it. Um, and one more little thing that um, I would like to to mention. So maybe I, I want to tell you the, the story about this probe that you see on um, on the picture. So this is the uh, Akatsuki probe. Uh, it was sent to Venus, and um, unfortunately, when it approached Venus, uh, the main edge engine broke and it couldn't enter the Venus the Venus orbit, and it just uh, flew away to the space, and um, it went around the sun and it went on um, just revolving around the, the sun for a few years until it approached Venus again just by chance. But then in order for it to enter the Venus orbit they had to um, apply the backup engine very very carefully. So there was very li limited amount of fuel uh, to perform the, the required maneuver to uh, to enter the Venus orbit. So, um, in mathematical um, terms, what, what they had to do, um, so they, um, when you um, apply an engine thrust, it means that you are giving your probe um, a certain initial velocity. But then, once the, this initial velocity is applied, after this, the motion is free, which means it must satisfy the differential equation. And uh, basically, the differential equation comes from the fact that everything um, obeys the um, law of universal gravitation. So what they had to do, they had to invent the right initial value problem so that its solution would orbit Venus rather than orbit the, the Sun. And they were successful. And they actually did it. Uh, you can just Google the Akatsuki probe. It's a very inspiring story. But what I want to say is that um, the basic intuition and the kind of the ultimate goal behind all differential equations is that whenever you think of differential equations, you need to imagine the solution of an initial value problem. So it's not just um, for every practical purpose, you, you have your differential equation and you have your initial value problem. and Whenever you solve an initial value problem, you can imagine the motion, so some like a probe is moving in, in the space according to the differential equation. So um, with this in mind, I'll, I'll stop now.